being home. And that's the thing. That's why they threw me in the hole. I'm in the hole now. I'm locked down in a room five feet by 10 feet with another guy who's strung out on drugs, strung out on drugs big time. They just had some guy in here that was horrible. I, I, I want to be very careful what I say. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to give away any sort of security or anything like that. So I'm just going to say that I'm in the hole. And, I, and I'll be in the hole for three to five days until I get what's called a CAD hearing or a CAT hearing. I'm not sure what it is. I have court Monday. I need people to show up for court on Monday. That's what I really need. I mean, i got to get out of this place. This is an absolute crazy house. You have no idea. I can't say anything about my surroundings. I can't say anything that would give away any sort of security thing here. You know, I don't want them to say that I've created any kind of security thing. But I can just tell you what's happened today has been unbelievable. I've been in a lockdown cell for 24 hours, and the guy next to me was screaming the entire night, pounding on the door, screaming the whole night long. I'm in this tiny room walking back and forth like a caged animal. I've done more push-ups, sit-ups, this. I, I can't do any more stretching, and I'm just completely, utterly just torn, bent, twisted. It's, it's, it's insane that they would lock up a journalist and put me in this kind of dungeon. It's horrible. You have no idea. So as, as soon as I was on the phone, they, they, they said, uh, that uh, I, I don't know what, what anybody heard because I was broadcasting and I was reporting, but I was not calling a third party. And they said Rule 249, Rule 249 of the Clark, Clark County Detention Center. But I never got a rule book. I was never handed a rule book. I was never instructed to read a rule book. I walked up to every guard when I, they came in. I introduced myself, told them I was nonviolent. I would not be any problem for them. I've sat on my bunk the entire time. I have not done anything else. I have not communicated with any other inmates. All I've done is read and talk on the phone. Again, I was never given a handbook. Never. Never, ever was I given a handbook. It was never handed to me. It was never suggested I read a handbook. I was never instructed to figure out how to read the rules of this facility. I was never told that live streaming was against the rules. I was never told that reporting was against the rules. I, or I wouldn't have done it. I simply wouldn't have done it. I've been in an absolute and total hell. An absolute total hell. You have no idea. If you want to talk about time, this is hard time. This is hard in a room with one other person and the other guys completely whacked on drugs. Completely whacked. Uh, yeah, slept, woke up, slept. It's just, it's just so sad to see. It's so sad to see. It just makes me want to cry when I see the level of addiction that is here. Jails and prisons should be broken up into three sections. Nonviolent, violent, and drug addicted. When they, when they came and they arrested me, the moment my phone cut off yesterday, they arrested me immediately. They came in with five guards and they put me in torture cuffs. I had a panic attack because they were taking me down to solitaire, to, to, uh, to, uh, the, to, to the tiny little room. I, on the way down, I had a panic attack. It was so horrifically bad. I felt like my chest was going to pop out. I thought I was going to literally die right there. I thought I was having a heart attack. So they brought all these people around me and they gave me an EKG and it was horrible. It was horrible. And the, 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 the guards just do what they're told, period. If they're told to do this, that's what they do. They don't, they don't have empathy. They don't have sympathy. They are told to do something and that's all they care about. That's all they will do. They will not do anything else. So it's just, and then here in this tiny little, this is punishment, so you don't get a book. They won't give you a book. And then NRS code Nevada says you only get one hour of free time. So the guards only have to give you one hour of free time. Well, every single legislator in Nevada, I would love to see you sit in that room even for three hours by, your, by yourself or even with somebody else. With it, people screaming in the rooms next door, singing. It's, it's like something out of a movie. You've never seen anything like it. NRS code says you get one hour of free time a day. You know, you get to come out of that tiny little room for one hour if the guards decide to give you your free time. It's completely backwards. Last night I saw people get free time at 2 o'clock in the morning. Who are you going to call at 2 o'clock in the morning? You can't call your mother. She's dead asleep. You can't call your attorney. He's not in his office. It's NRS code. I don't know what the code is, but yesterday when the, when the sergeant came in, he said, listen, guys, NRS says I only just give you guys one hour of free time a day. Other than that, you'll be locked down. Well, in my particular case, they took me to this room and locked me down. I'm locked down in a room. There's a tiny slit of a window four inches wide by three feet long, and that's it total. Other than that, it's gray walls with a, with a one seat and a desk that you don't get any paper, you don't get any pencils, and you don't get a book. So you just sit in this tiny little room. I've called my attorney. We're going we're gonna to try to get me out of this. 
horrible situation because I didn't break the rules and I was never given a set of rules to follow. I was never instructed, you can read the rules here. There's no rules written on the wall. The only thing written all over the wall is suicide prevention. That's it. Are you fearing suicidal here? Call this. Are you feeling like you've been sexually assaulted? Call this. But there's no rules anywhere. There's no rules that you're supposed to follow. There's no CCC, CCDC handbook. It doesn't exist. There is none. And then and I, I can't say anything about what I saw today. I can't. If I say anything about what I saw, then they'll say that I created a security risk, and I just can't tell you. But I can write it down, and I will write it down. When I get out of here, I will publish a book of everything that I've seen, everything that I've been through. This has been an absolute horrendous, horrendous experience. It's literally like you're in hell on earth, and that there are people here that make you do what you're supposed to do. Anyway, listen, i got to go. Done. Okay, i got to jump off this phone. I love you guys. Pray for me. Pray for me. I love you. Bye. The caller has hung up.